Hi, Lisa with Greenhook Studio here. I have another project tutorial for you today. Um, if you're anything like me and you crochet a lot, you probably, you know, have a lot of yarn. Um, but then once you're finished with a project, you end up with a lot of this, you know, just left over. What do you do with it? You, you know, don't have a full skein to trust that you're going to have enough to finish a certain project. Or maybe it's like a weird texture and doesn't quite go with everything. Or it's like random variegated. What are you going to use it for? Well, I have an answer for you today. I'm going to make a scrappy tote bag. Um, what it, I'm going to do is just grab a whole bunch of yarn and hold five strands together, use my N hook, and whip up a tote bag. Now you can join me in doing this with any yarn that you have. You can purposefully plan to use five, the same five colors the whole way through. You could use three of one color and two of another and just use two colors throughout. Or you can just go wild and just see what comes next and play yarn roulette with your scrap bin. Um, I like to pick a colorway and just work with that the whole way up. For example, to do all pinks, I also have one that I have made that's all blues. You can make it rainbow as you go up. It's up to you. Today I'm going to use up my green scraps. So why don't you grab some scraps and your end hook and start crocheting with me. Let's get started making our scrappy tote. I have a bunch of random yarns that I'm going to use. I have, well, I had straightened them out. There we go. I've straightened them out a little bit so that I can use them all together. And then I have another bag of scraps to work in of smaller balls of yarn when I am ready to change colors. But I like to start with some darker colors at the bottom to have more of that heavier weight of the darker colors at the bottom of the bag and then work my way up. So to get started, just like just about any crochet project, I am going to make my knot. And I'm gonna get my hook and I will chain 31. One, two, three, and I have my 31 chains, and now I am going to half double crochet down the chain, creating 30 stitches. So I'm going to start in this second loop from the hook, and I'm going to half double crochet across the chain. So you'll end up with 30 stitches. Now this may be a little hard to catch all your yarns through. Um, for a project like this, I personally um, recommend um, a metal hook. I think they glide easier through various yarns, especially if you're working with ones of different textures, then you know it's going to slide through everything. Now that I have my 30 half double crochets, I am going to chain and turn. Now I'm going to do five more rows of 30 half double crochet. Let's do these on our own and meet on back here. Once you have finished your six total rows, and I'll show you the next step going around the bottom and up the sides. All right, now I have my six rows 
of 30 half double crochets. Now is the trickiest row in this whole bag. We are going to start going up the sides and we're going to go around all four sides of this piece with double crochet stitches. So we're going to start that by chaining two here. I've already chained one when I finished my stitch. So I'll chain my second and this does not count as a stitch. We're going to ignore this in our rows. So now we're going to do six double crochets down in the side. So in each row of half double crochet, you'll be putting a double crochet. So just stick your hook in here. So we'll do one. Two, three, four, five, and then six. This last one, it's a little tricky to go through because it was the very first stitch from the chain. All right, good enough. This is going to be the bottom of my bag. All right, so I did six double crochets on the short side. Now we're going to continue around. I have a spaghetti mess here, sorry about that. Maybe you can do better than me. So I'm going to continue down the side and I'm gonna do 30 double crochets. Let's see. One. All right, now that I have my 30 across, I've come to the corner, sort out a little mess here. We're going to continue around, there you go. We're going to continue around, so it's gonna be six down the side of this short end. And if you would like to, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to double crochet over these tails so that I don't have to weave them into the bottom of the bag inside later. Just trying to save myself some time. So we're gonna continue around this side. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, and six in the sides of these half doubles from the first piece. All right, five, and number six, right in here. All right, so that was that short end. And now we're gonna do one more long end. This will be the easiest because it's the tops of that original sixth row of half doubles. So again, we're going to just continue around after I untangle this barf. We'll do 30 stitches, double crochet across the top and meet back at the other corner. All right, so I've got six on each side, six double crochets on each side, 30 double crochets on the long sides. So this is row one of our double crochets. We will slip to join, 
chain two and turn to start working up the sides of the bag. This was row one. We are doing 12 rows total of the double crochet. So sometimes you will be working from the inside of the bag and then when you turn, you'll be back on the outside of the bag again. All right, before I go too far, I want to demonstrate how to add in a new strand of yarn. So say my white ran out and I want to add in a new strand of yarn from my scrap pile, from my basket of small balls of yarn. Let me demonstrate how to do that. So I have my double crochet not completed and I've got this little strand hanging out here. I'm going to move that out of the way and when I yarn over with these I'm going to add this new strand in also in that yarn over. This way. Add it into my yarn over and let its tail hang out with its little buddy down here. And then I will use this new strand to pull through and complete that double crochet. Now I'm going to continue as normal with the new strand here and I will double crochet over these two tails to weave them in and secure them. And you can do that anytime you need to add in a color anytime one of your scraps runs out. So again, we're doing 12 rows total of the double crochet sides. And I will meet you back here with those 12 rows finished. Okay, I'm back and I have 12 rows of double crochet. Isn't that pretty? Lots of greens. These are just all from my scrap bins, things that I wasn't going to use for anything else. So now that I have 12 rows of double crochet, the entire sides of the bag, it's so tall and wide I had to zoom out <laughs> my camera here. Okay, so what I have done is I marked the center of each side with a stitch marker. If you would like to be scientific and exact, you can count out your stitches to make sure that that's the exact center. I eyeballed it because that's who I am. Now, you're gonna want to, for this 13th row of double crochet, we're gonna skip 10 stitches right in the middle. So this is my middle, so I'm gonna count um, five on one side and then five from it and that is the stitches that I am going to be skipping. So that's what's going on here. Going this direction. I am going to double crochet until a few stitches, five stitches before this stitch marker. This is the first one I'm going to skip. Okay, so this now, this yellow stitch marker, is the first stitch that I am, oh, bumped my camera, first stitch that I am skipping. So I'm going to skip 10, but I'm going to chain 15. So 1, 14 and 15. There's my 15. Now I'm going to skip 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And go into this next one with a double crochet. And this is what's going to create that handle, if you hadn't already guessed. If you would like a longer handle, on your bag, go for it. Just chain more and make sure that you chain the same amount on the other side. Okay, now I am going to 
continue crocheting around to the other side until, let me move my stitch marker here, I get to one, two, three, four, five. This will be the first one that I skip on that side. Okay, so let's double crochet. Oh my gosh, why is this stuck? Okay, continuing to, sing, to double crochet around to my yellow stitch marker. Okay, now I am to my first skipped stitch on this side. So I am going to uh, chain 15 and skip 10. One, two, 14 and 15. All right, and then these go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's my last skipped one, so it's going to go here. So then I will double crochet into this stitch. Here's my other handle. And I will then finish this row as normal, just a few more to go. And then what we are going to do is do one more round of double crochet. And when you get to your handles, you are going to do 15 double crochet just over this chain, not through the chain, but over. And then that will be our last round and our bag will be finished. We can weave in any ends that might be sticking out and trim things, just tidy it up a little bit. You may have some things to clean up here and there. Like I have some weird knots that showed up in my yarn, because that's what you get for using random cheap, who knows what yarn for your scrap bag. But that's also why I didn't choose it for another project. All right, so, all right. A slip stitch and chain two and turn for my last round. All right, I'm going to speed most of this up, but show you the stitching over the handles. Let's go. All right, now I am at my handle spot, my chain of 15. I am going to do 15 double crochet over the chain. And 15. Once you get to the end, you can kind of scooch them. Forgive my metal hook sound there. Right. You can uh, even them out a little bit just to make that look nice. Okay, moving on. We are going to double crochet right here and all the way around to this other side where we will uh, double crochet over the handle again before finishing the round and finishing the project. Let's go. All right, time to crochet over this chain again here. We'll put one in here. And then do our 15. One, two, All right, now we just have a few more stitches to finish out this row. Okay, here it is. One last slip. The 
this is all I have left of one of them. I was afraid I was going to have to add one in in the last row. I hate changing in the last row of this project. Okay. So I'm just going to pull this through. And then it's just cleanup time. Isn't it pretty? I just love, honestly, how cool five strands of different shades of yarn look together. When you do even just a simple stitch, it gives it such a cool texture without having to learn any fancy stitches. Don't get me wrong, I love fancy stitches, but sometimes my brain just wants to go on autopilot and do singles, half doubles, or doubles all day. Um, so I do stuff like this, and it ends up very pretty, doesn't it? Just can be my wallpaper on the computer now. All right, so anyway, enough about that. Um, grab a needle. You may need a bigger yarn needle, um, one that you might use with chunkier yarns to be able to uh, weave your ends in on this puppy here. That one's longer than the others. And it's also kind of a booger to thread five at a time. So just do your best and be patient with yourself. If you have to thread a couple separately, go for it or um, use a threader or a paper or something to stick them through. All right, come on, friend. All right. All right, so we just wanna weave it back and forth some, hide it. Why are you being so difficult? That's another problem with having multiple threads here. Why are you doing this to me? Sometimes you just need a little extra grip. All right, I'm gonna dare to weave this through again because I didn't mean to unthread my needle. Haha, -ha. almost. I almost got all five. All right, so I'm gonna weave it through one more time. Just to hide my ends, make this whole thing more secure. All right, so there's my ends. And then if I have any weirdness, I'm gonna just check for weirdness on here. I don't know what that's about. I'm just gonna shove that in. Here's a little end that wants to stick out the front from a knot. You just kind of search for your, anything that might've stuck through on any of the sides. I had a couple knots in my yarns. So I got my stitch marker. There's one. Looks pretty good. Then you can check inside for knots. You see any knots? I'm gonna reach in there and trim a couple places where I crocheted over the yarn when I added new colors. All right, I'll do the others off camera because that's too tricky to show because this is a large bag on a small desk. This is the size of it. It's basically my whole desk. So that's the bag. These are too big to show on camera when I do my close-ups. Here is my finished greens tote and a full shot of my pinks. I hope you had fun making your tote bag with me. I would absolutely love to see your finished product. So please tag me on socials at Greenhook Studio on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Leave a comment or question if you've got one. Please subscribe for more because I am back doing tutorials regularly and I'm very excited about it. Um, if you would like to have a print version of this pattern, 
besides watching the video over and over again, you can get a PDF of the pattern from my website, greenhookstudio.com. I hope to see you back here real soon. Thanks for watching.